welcome to Jazz in Motion. My name is Jasmine, and this is our homeboy Jose, who's going to be hanging out with us today. Hello. So Jose, since this was your idea, why don't you tell them what we're doing? So we're doing a, um, I think it's called mukbang, mukbang, um, and we're just going to, you know, talk and eat some food. All right. So what did you order? So I got snow crabs, clams. Uh, bread, um, corn, um, and some lemon. And I got... <coughs> Sorry guys. Alright, so I have, you know, crab legs to I have, you know, muscles. Just food! Food! We got food. <laughs> so, I went live on my phone. <coughs> That's what I was doing. Alright, so I'm hungry. So hungry, I want to jump right in. This is my first time on Jasmine's. We have been trying to film for so long. For ever. But where are you from? I'm originally from Philadelphia. You a busy Rays. boy. And Shout out to Amber Rose. Shout out to Amber Rose. Um, yeah, came out to Arizona to um, work, go to school, and experience a whole new lifestyle um, as well. Do you like it out here? Um, I like it, and it's it's a little dry. <laughs> um, you know, they weren't kidding about the weather, and but also some of the people are kind of dry too. Ooh. <laughs> He came for us. No tea, no shade. But Jasmine, though, she's she got lots of moist, so she's very wet. So mm. you know, mm. <laughs> mm. this channel just took a turn. So, um, but we're on the street. Is you know, you haven't seen our last channel. Um, she wants to be moving. Yep, I'm leaving. Um, at Arizona. I'm gonna. This gonna be great, guys. You come with me all the time. I'm not good at cracking this shit. I'm not about to sit here and pull out whole pieces for you. So that is not what this is about. Because I'm um, what? So I thought, you know, to move to Philly, that the thing might be a little different. Um, but it's an actual little worse. <laughs> Me as a gay man, not open, I guess. Right, so it's a wall up and you know I think everyone has their walls up but it's just kind of harder out here um, and it's just like I've, I've gone not even say I've gone through but I dated a few guys out here <laughs> he was hoeing so yeah what's the best date that you've been on out here um the best date that I've been on out here give me names <laughs> say his name um, the best date that I've gone out here, hmm. Oh, girl, I don't even know. Maybe it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if there was a good date, it's probably not memorable. But I did go on a date with an older guy in the city of Biltmore out here in Arizona. And that Which was is a nice. really nice area. I didn't know how to, you know. They have pronounced any of the words on the menu, but that's it. It was good. Yeah. Do you like older men? Um, not really. I mean, it depends on how old you think it's old. Because I tried dating someone older, like was older than my dad, and um, it didn't work out. Very controlling, very demanding, and like for the price of that, like you know, it's gonna be that way. Um, then, I know, come in. Then you need to pay some coins. Ooh. Cause I dance, um, you know, at clubs, and he doesn't want me to dance. So I was lost an extra three hundred dollars in my pocket a week. So if you're not feeling to come through with that extra three hundred dollars. What you I'm a soul dance. Homie tried to kiss me. Right. And I'm all for whatever. But if your breath stank. Ooh. 
smell like dog doo doo. Ooh. I can't fuck with it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, um, and the last minute, <laughs> the last people know this already, but, um, I'm always struggling with this. You too? And, um, I had brushed my teeth and I was like, hey, what's the toothpaste? He's all in the bathroom, let me show you. He gets up and shows me, and I grab the toothbrush and he's gonna walk away to the bed. I'm like, are you not gonna join me? He goes, oh, I'm just gonna be up a little bit longer. I was like, oh, great, so if you up a little longer, so you try to fucking, you know, touch me. I was like, well, you need to brush your teeth. You know, it's just a normal thing to do. After that, he didn't text me again. And he never texted me either. I think I was just kinda, you know, blunt about it. <coughs> oh, these are mild. Yeah, remember, and that's why I told you. That's exactly why I said, don't get, don't go medium. Cause even these milds, you know, got what a little kick to it. What is this? It's the sauce, so it's garlic. Oh. It's like garlic and deliciousness. What about you, Jasmine? I'm like your dating life. Damn, you're putting me on the spot right now, huh? Today? Damn, you're putting me on the You like that, huh? <laughs> That's really what you're trying to do right now. Look. Oh. My dating life is there. It's happening. It's flourishing. Okay? But we don't leave it at that. But he fine. Wait, you, oh. Oh, oh. I tell oh. y'all that much. Yeah, I wish I had something like that. What I've noticed with you, I feel like you attract a lot of straight men. Is that normal? Like even in Philly, was that normal? Or do you feel like that's oh. an Arizona thing? Oh, here we go. Um, you no, know, it just follows me. <laughs> so even in Philly? Mm -hmm. I, I've been with, I think during my time, I think gays rule out more of how many times that I feel straight guys. But there was a point where I feel more straight guys than I was with gay men. And was that hard for you? Because like obviously they're straight, they're still trying to figure out. Yeah, so um I never caught feelings because I know what it's just fun. Um but there was a point where and I don't know if this person's gonna see this or not on my YouTube. I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> um I messed with someone who was married and mm. um that caused drama. Ooh. And you married um, to a woman? He was married to a woman. And, um... Do I know him? No, you don't know. No, I was from back home. And his wife found out because I had denied him, you know, sex because I was dating. And all of a sudden she found out, I don't know how. And she approached me and, um, yeah. Um, so that was interesting. It was a big ass thing. I feel like we've all been there when you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. But then you're like, oh, I want to do it. Yeah. And so you do it. So, one thing I'm trying now, and it's been really hard, is staying celibate. Mm. Like, celibate, like, no. And it's tough, but it, do, it does give me a little more clarity. Uh, Only for November, though, right? Well, that's how it starts. No, 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 not November. <laughs> but, and then supposedly, Okay. Then so no 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 matter. And then supposedly it's destroy your dick in December. Is it like if you say celibate and you just don't do anything, the universe will just attract you to someone. We'll see. Is that what they say? Trust is a big part to come along, um, and if, especially it depends on like the distance. I mean, have you guys were you guys talking before? Um, then someone moved, and then there's so a what? That is the case. What if they were talking before? Do you think that makes it easier or more difficult because you're used to being around them? I would say that it would make it a little more 
challenging, but you know, it depends on like the agreement, like you know, how you know comfortable you are with that person. You guys FaceTime each other all the time. Do you, you know, how's your trust level? Do you guys plan on seeing each other like every month? Like sometimes it works for some people, sometimes it doesn't.